PNL, San Francisco. We are on Harrison in San Francisco. And uh, it's a very nice weather. Warm with a chill air. But let's go and see some bottles. I don't know, might need a card. I'm here to raid their independent bottles today because they have such a great selection. Well, that's not independent, but that is an unusual Deanston cream sherry, fifty four per cent. 13 year old. Okay, back to the independents, don't get distracted. We absolutely loved the Glenbergy all particular. This one is 149. Glen Talker is 21 years old, 53.3%. Just trying to work out if there's any sherry on that barrel. Oh, it's the whiskey base team, the archives. It's a refill barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so refill what? <laughs> How many bottles? 170 bottles. It's got a bit of color to it, so. If it was sherry though, I'd expect more bottles than 170. But of course, it could be a sherry hogshead, couldn't it? Refill barrel. I'll just put it, I'll just put that one in the uh, shopping cart for now. Now, I also wanted this one. We had a, we tried a grain whiskey. There's a little sample and a blind taste. I'm trying to get the bottle out here. This one is from Cameron Bridge, 27 years old. And a little bit unusual, I guess, for a grain whiskey that it has been matured in a refill butt. So 560 bottles. So you can see it has a little bit of sherry color to it. And this one is specifically for k &L, bottle for k &L. And it's just $80. <laughs> For a 27 year old sherry matured. So uh, I'll just pop that one in the cart for now. Whoops, knocking things over. Glenbergie from a hogshead. Let's see if we can get it. Get a look at that one without without breaking anything. We had a Glenbergie at um, the Cadenhead Warehouse tasting. We actually bought that bottle. It was a younger one. Okay, pretty light. Uh, 257. Oh, refill hogshead. Okay. Yes. And what's the ABV on that? 53.6. Shoot a video through a, through a bottle. 
whiskey vision. So the Glen Burgie is a uh, one ten. Whoops. Thank you. And there's one more. Yes, you had a little sample of this Glen Murray. It is 49.8% old malt cast. And this one is also, let's see, 144 bottles from a refill barrel. So, ex-bourbon, presumably. I mean, okay, not cheap. 440 plus taxes, maybe about 500. Considering there is uh, 21, 21, can't add this up, can I? 42, 65, 80, 92 years of whiskey. Four seventy-seven thirty-six. Well, that looks like good pillaging. What it was. You, you want to look? Yeah, because I'm a Scotch geek. Fantastic. You want to look on camera? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what's good about KL. Yeah, you get the KL is great. I pillage from here remotely all the time. Oh, you do? Are you just visiting? Yeah, archives data is that. Which one is that? This is the uh, Glen Burgie. Oh, it's a new one. 21 year just, Glen Burgie. Yeah, it just came out, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, no, this is uh, the Glen Tauschers. Oh, sorry, Glen I have this. I one. have this at home, and it is fantastic, and it is really. Uh, oh, it's actually pronounced Glen Tuckers. Yeah, Glen Tuckers. Glen Tuckers. We had one uh, all particular. Yeah. And it was so good when yeah. I saw this one. Yeah, they, they can be really, really good. Okay, yeah, I have this bottle open at home. It's, it's a really good one. And oh, nice. Under the radar. Yeah, beautiful yeah. bottle. Is yeah, it? did you get the uh, Glen Livet? No. All right. Well, there's something. Oh, about... from the archives? Yeah, the archives. Uh, so the archives is from. Uh... Yeah, that's the Glen Burgie. Yeah, that's the Glen Burgie. Archives is. Um, uh, it's is... whiskey based, right? Yeah, it's whiskey based. Uh, Menno and CJ. I don't know. This you is know the those first... guys? No, this is the first archives. Yeah, yeah, I've been we buying. Have well, until the shipping. Uh... It just became less reliable. It's just yeah. my own anxiety. Yeah. But uh, I was I bought a lot from them for years. And, oh, nice. Yeah, and it would arrive by U.S. Post. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good Glen Glen Burgie. Yeah, there was an amazing run of '95 signatory Glen Burgies. Oh, they yeah. just had like a whole pallet of them. great uh, Glen Burgies. Single grain. Hammer and Bridge. Yeah, grain. Yeah. I was only about what. Eighty dollars for it, so yeah, yeah it's and cool. it's a sherry butt, uh, yeah. single grain. So yeah, you had a sample of a friend's. Yeah, the puff candy developed into grilled bananas and tangy orange. I would say that's accurate. Yeah, it's very spicy too. And yeah, then, uh, grains can get really interesting when they get really old. Yeah, and then uh, last one had a taste of that Glen that Ray. bottle. Yeah, See I haven't the... tasted this one. Oh, no, actually, I have. I have. It's pretty good. It's it's crisp and sweet. Very yeah. Funny. Yeah. Nice. Nice. It's, a, you, it's a lot of years for uh, not too much money. Yeah. <laughs> Did you try from Ozzy Old Peculiar? Not uh, it, old, old Peculiar, old. but it was bottled as it was a 20, 21 year old Glen Fittich. No. And it was just, it's oh, it's just good? gorgeous. You don't see that in independent bottles very often. Well, no, and they called it. Hector McRae oh, or I something see. like that because they can't. Yeah, they okay. They had a 26, uh, and this is just over a year ago, uh, yeah. landed yeah, a year and three months ago, uh, landed in November 2019, a 26-year-old Balvenie. Yeah. Yeah, which <laughs> was a steal considering what a 25-year-old Hector McRae yeah. uh, OB Balvenie cost. And then this really kind of underappreciated, uh, gorgeous little one. Yeah. yeah. So what are you what are you in shopping for today? 
Oh, I'm just I'm just browsing. I usually go to Cape yeah, but Hollywood. Browsing is the is the dangerous bit, though, isn't it? I'm Phil, by the way. No, I'm Phil I'm Todd. Todd, nice talking to you. So yeah, yeah. whiskey have... geek and plowed plowed green geek. Yeah. <laughs> so you have nothing in mind? Uh, I have an open mind. What would uh, what would touch your eye? What type of whiskey uh, are you into at the moment? Anything in particular? Yeah, I'm a. I, I uh, really love uh, all regions of Scotland. I know. It's you hard know, to... I started out as a deep Greek, and now as I as I as I continue my journey, I'm yeah. <laughs> finding these sweet, gentle, but yet perfect expressions. Yeah. Of things that I really make. Me well, happy. these are a bit more in that direction. Yeah. We're not so much into the big sherry bombs, although we do like um, uh, you know some heavy islas. And yeah. Deep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that. That uh, Glen Talkers we we had, yeah, the Glen turned, Talkers is good. Turned our uh, attention a bit, so we'll have a go at this one. Do you have a whiskey here? A little bit. I mean, there's a few of us that have started doing some bottle sharing. Yeah. And uh, so what do you do? YouTube, YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't post anything. I, I selfishly hoard my information in my own group. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you search for uh, uh, whiskey mystery, hmm. you'll find you'll find this. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. All right. Whiskey mystery. Yeah. So yeah. I drink with uh, the Plowed Society. Oh yeah. Yeah. So where are you living then? You're California. In LA though. Yeah, in the LA area. Yeah. And then uh, I drink. Uh, I drink occasionally with the LA Whiskey Society. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. We used to uh, work down in LA. Uh, animation industry. Lived in... Yeah. Maybe you know. Uh, maybe you know extra. I'm not sure. We went into whiskey at that time. Yeah, okay. Well, never. But, uh, Better late than never. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, those look like good picks. Yeah. If they still have any stray bottles unaccounted for of the archives label or the the, the Le Chig. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's delightful. But how did, there's a Chieftain's one in there, which I picked up, but I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, I own it too, but I haven't opened it yet, but uh, I'm afraid of the burnt match stick. Yeah. I actually bought it <laughs> uh, with the intention of provoking Especially yeah. provoking it, a friend who's sulfur sensitive. Right. But, uh, I never got around to cracking it. So I don't mind a bit of uh, matchstick smoke, but I, I guess I'm talking about Highland Park level, so I like that little sulfury. Yeah, can, yeah, it can but, be. Matchstick's fine, too yeah. much sulfur. Yeah, it can just be bad. All right, well, well, enjoy. Have fun. Good shopping. Yeah, bye. Ah, uh, whiskey people.